let me tell you a story of a man who rose to glory. He defied the tide honestly with modesty as his depository. Wise beyond his years, he was pensive, clever. He would sever corruption and his myth lives on forever. In the time of the Second Tang Dynasty, there was a pauper who begged by a monastery. He was common and stank and almost blind, but from time to time he sang from his mind. One day a shopkeeper from a local village tripped over him, causing a rice spillage. The shopkeeper was angry and called his guard, saying his clothes and rice were ruined and marred. The guard drew his sword as he was about to kill. When a monk in red appeared, they fell silent and still. The monk asked what the pauper had done to offend, why rice was spilt and what could be done to amend. The rich man explained the beggar couldn't pay for his loss, so must sacrifice his life to compensate the loss. The monk took off his hat and sat and said, You owe this man nothing, he'd be better off dead. You carry to the monastery your theistic offering, but you cannot compensate this beggar for his suffering. Every day his songs so full of life inspire, whilst your anger and wealth I cannot admire. If you must kill him, you must first kill me too. The shopkeeper laughed, you are but a fool. As he gave the command for his guard to attack, he felt the cold sting of a blade in his back. The monk whispered, I am a red lotus missionary. You can't understand this poor bro is a visionary. You and your servant give your lives to appease My sword and ears for his song to rise on the breeze All you rich do is spread your hatred like a disease While this man lives in peace for music under these trees He's a visionary This man lives in peace for music under these trees He's a visionary this man lives in peace for music the visionary, under the these visionary, trees. Visionary. Now I've told you the story of a man who rose to glory. He defied the tide honestly with modesty as his depository. Wise beyond his years, he was pensive, clever. He would sever corruption and his myth lives on forever.